A train initially at rest at the station has uniform acceleration of 0.2 until it reaches a speed of 20. Okay, getting faster and faster. Oh, I think we should draw a graph for this. It might be very helpful for us later because it gets complicated. So we have a graph of velocity against time. So the first part, we are accelerating. Okay, so I draw something like this. Until we reach 20 meter per second. Then constant speed for a period. Okay, and then uniform deceleration, which is a little bit bigger than 0 0.2. So we slow down again. Until it comes to rest. So distance between the two stations is 3,000 meter. Okay, total, total distance, huh? What is the time taken by the train to travel between the two stations? So this one has quite a few stages to it, and usually we have to deal with them separately. So for example, let's look at this graph here. I'm going to call this um, section 1, section 2, and section 3. Section 1, we have enough information to find a lot of things. We know the acceleration. We know final speed and we know initial speed at rest. VUA. We can find S, we can find T. Let's find let's find T first. Okay, so for section one, we can use V equals to U plus A T. Final speed 20, initial speed 0, acceleration 0 0.2 times T. So this T here is 100 seconds. Yes, we found this. So 100 seconds to get here. Section 2. Do we have enough information? Uh? Uh, we only know the speed. Don't really know time. Actually, we don't know much about section 2. We'll skip section 2. We'll, go back. we'll come back to it later. Go section 3 first. So section 3. Um, constant speed and decelerate. Of 0 0.4. Oh, I think we can use the same. Okay, wait, wait, let's see what we have for section 3. We have initial speed, which is 20. We have the final speed, which is 0. Acceleration, 0 0.4. Okay, plenty of information. I think we'll try to find the time first. So we'll do V equals to U plus AT again. Final speed, 0. You stop moving already. And you are slowing down from 20 with a deceleration of 0 0.4. Actually, the 0 0.4 should be negative, but I ignore it. Ah. So the T here, you can find, will be 50 seconds. Wow, very short. Ah. Mm, but this is time interval of 50 seconds. We don't know the total yet. So let's put here 50 for now. And this one is 100. Okay. We need to know more information about the middle. Something we have not used is the fact that the distance, the total distance travel is 3,000. In other words, you can say like the total area, this whole area under the graph is 3,000. So let's try this. Let's find the area and uh, let's find the distance travel in each of the sections. So for one, let's go back. I think we'll use V square equals to U square plus 2AS. Because we've got information for it. So let's go. Okay, this is a long question. 20 square, 0 square, 2, 0 0.2 times S. So the distance in section 1 is 1,000 already. Okay, we write inside here 1,000 meter. Section 3, we do the same thing. V square equals to U square plus 2AS. Final speed, you stop moving. You start off at 20. And you decelerate by 0 0.4. S. So this S here. It was S, huh? Calculator. 500 meter. So here already 500 meter. So what is left, huh? You already travel. Hmm, let's do section 3 now. Uh, section 2. So to find the distance you travel. Total distance was 3,000. You already travel 1,000. You already travel 500. So what is left? Eh? Minus, minus. Ah. Thing is 1,500. Means this part is 1,500 meter, which is the unit 
uh, the area and the displacement. Okay, I think from there we can try to find what is this time taken or time interval. In this section, there is no acceleration, but we can use s equals to ut plus half a t squared. This part is gone. It's like your distance equals to velocity times time. Uh, is where the equation comes from. So distance is 1500. <sighs> Speed you're traveling at is kind of fixed at 20. So we'll just write 20 and time. So the time here should be 75 seconds. Wow, finally! This is such a long question. Mm, now we can find the total time. Total, therefore, total time will be add up all the time. First part is 100, third part is 50 and 75. So 100, 50, 75. This should give you a total of 225 seconds. Is there an answer for 225 uh, up there? Not really. Uh. The closest will be two, <coughs> 230 if you run it to 2SF. So we'll go with that. 230 as the total time taken. Okay, so hope that was helpful. If you have any other methods, do do let us know. But that's, I think that's all for this uh, question. See you in the next one.